Okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, uh, there's a small problem with uh, Windows and Macintosh, but I use Linux usually. Um, okay, so uh, we are really happy to, to be here and to be at the Blender conference. I will present you uh, what we do at uh, Carnot Computing. Carnot Com Computing develops something very special. Uh, we hit people with your, with your rendering, so I will explain you uh, how and, uh, and why. <laughs> Um, so, uh, first, I will explain you the history of this, uh, this project. Uh, in fact, ten years ago, I started to work uh, at a, a large bank in, uh, in France, uh, and they were using uh, high-performance computing uh, to perform their risk analysis, and they had one of the biggest uh, data center in the world as a private uh, uh, corporation. And um, in fact, uh, personally, I had a, a hobby uh, at home. Uh, I had many computers in my room, and I wanted them to be silent. Uh, so I was very interested in uh, all uh, low-performance computers that uh, has no fans, etc., etc. And uh, once I had a stupid idea, I, I thought if I can have a very uh, powerful computers that perform computation like I do at, uh, at work, uh, and I can keep them silent, uh, it's a heating system because uh, everybody here knows about uh, the, the uh, energy you consume for the energy, for the renderings. Uh, so today more and more computation are uh, used uh, all over the world and they are mainly uh, performed in data centers. Uh, here you have a picture of a very nice data centers. Uh, every year, uh, every five years, uh, the, the energy consumed by the data center is uh, doubling, so it's a really big problem since today about 2% of world electricity is consumed by uh, data centers. So they, they are working hard to, to be greener, like putting a green carpet like this. Uh, so that's the reality of the, the cloud today. Uh, we, we don't uh, uh, blame them because they do a lot of effort, uh, but uh, there is, uh, and it is, uh, data centers are really useful, but uh, there is really an er energy problem. So uh, 10 years ago, um, the idea of creating a heater with these servers was a bit stupid, but uh, in 2009 I thought it was really a good idea because uh, I saw that there was really a big energy problem. So uh, in 2010 uh, we founded Carnot Computing to design and, uh, and create the first prototype of the digital heater, we call it the Curad. And you have all the, uh, the, um, the features of the Curad. In fact, it is the, the, the features of a computer and the feature of uh, a heater. Uh, you have computing power, you have bandwidth. You don't have that in a he normal heater. Uh, you have heating. Heating, you have it in a computer and in a, in a heater. And uh, you have no noise. Uh, this is perhaps uh, what is the most uh, interesting thing, because uh, without noise, you can put that uh, in everybody's home. Uh, uh, if you go in a data center, you will uh, feel the heat, but also the noise. Um, and uh, today, this is not only a, a project. Uh, last year, we deployed uh, 350 units in Paris, mostly. Uh, so we have uh, we deployed uh, heaters in a, um, in a social housing. We have uh, 100 uh, households uh, equipped with this uh, system, and also in an uh, engineering school in uh, in Paris. Um, so inside the heater, you have uh, what we call a uh, raw power. In fact, uh, this is a uh, uh, bare, bare metal logic. Uh, we have only CPU and memory. Oops. Uh, sorry. Uh, we have only CPU and memory, and everything is booted uh, on the network. Um, so this is what we call uh, what is called bare metal approach. Uh, each node is a uh, Intel uh, i7. Uh, at 4 gigahertz uh, with uh, 16 gig of RAM uh, on each uh, node. And all the data are, are trans transferred uh, encrypted and we do absolutely no storage in the, in the heater. Um, when the, when the, um, the job is performed, it is performed inside the heater and then the heater will shut down their nodes uh, to perform another, another, another job. Uh, so let's talk about uh, what I call the payloads. Um, the first year we, we developed the prototypes as the, the curates, it's, kind of, it's our infrastructures. Uh, 
uh, or infrastructure, and then we work on the, what we call the Qware or the Q network. It is the API to distribute uh, the jobs uh, on the different heaters. And uh, what we call the payloads, it's uh, our software as a service, and the first payload we did, uh, maybe it, it was uh, more than two years ago, it was Blender. It was, uh, it was really uh, by, uh, uh, it was uh, not a choice, it's just because Blender was the most easiest uh, real application we can use in our system. And we, we went to banks and we showed them Blender to tell them we can do the same with your, uh, with your computation, uh, because Blender is something you can really show to to people, but we work also on other uh, other payloads. Um, so I will explain in more detail what is a payload. But first, I will show you a, a demonstration of our service uh, on Blender. So it is accessible uh, on at this uh, URL. You can try it for free. Uh, you have 25 hours to try, and I will explain you how how, how it works uh, on a quick example, if I can um, help. <laughs> uh, is the Windows guy here? Hmm? Yeah, does somebody know about Windows 8? Yeah. I don't use this, so it's Windows 8. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's not in English. <laughs> I would be like, ah, oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> nee. Yes. Nee. Yes. It looks like no. Hmm? No. No. Ne? Okay. Okay. No. Okay. If you arrive the first time here, you are, uh, you can register or just uh, sign in. Is internet available? Not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, ah. Whoa. Okay. 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 I will try here. Interface you will find on the on the website. Um, many many tip, uh, we we are not a Blender specialist, but we discuss with some people to help us make it clear and simple. Uh, so here you have all the projects uh, you can uh, prepare on the, the website. So here I already prepared an example, hopefully. Uh, and uh, if you enter a project, uh, when you create a new project, you have no files. If you want to upload some files, you can go here directly, and you can uh, upload um, you can upload a zip file or a blend file or a texture file, create directory, etc. So here in this example we took the Caminandes uh, movie uh, and what was great is that it was working at the first uh, the first try uh, because the links were well well um, uh, organized so uh, so here are the file and when you upload your files here on the on the interface you can see all the blend files uh, that are uh, in your project and when you select a blend file you can choose uh, the scene you want to render. You have some default uh, uh, buttons to choose the, the resolution, but here you have the default settings. Oops, uh, of the uh, the default settings of the of your blend uh, blend file. Uh, you can also choose the version you want to use. Uh, you can also subtitle your uh, your frames so that it uh, render quickly. Uh, I will explain you how, and you can change everything here. So I will start the rendering here. Hope everything will be okay. So here it, it started. 
Um, so here you have the human time. Uh, so I just launched it 10 seconds ago. And uh, here you have uh, more than 200 CPUs that are uh, working on this job. And in fact, the heaters in the houses are booting. Uh, this is a bare metal, so with a Linux, it's booting quite fast. Uh, I will explain you during the, the rendering how it works. Uh, we use a Docker, a Docker uh, container system. So at 30 seconds, they, they are probably booted now. And uh, they will start to work on the rendering of the, the file that uh, I just cho uh, choose. Uh, here you have all the elements uh, concerning your rendering, so we know it is styled in 64 parts. Uh, you have the first frame and the last frame, the version of uh, Blender you are using, uh, Cycle or uh, Blender Renderer, the resolution, and the number of minutes that will be consumed by the, by the job. Uh, you can stop the, the job anytime you want, and you can download the, the results, uh, temp the temporary results or uh, the the final result here. And here we will see the, um, the, um, uh, the thumbnails of the partial image. So here you can see that it starts to, you have, you're starting to have computation time. So here it's human time, here it is computation time. Uh, it already started because we used the output of the command line of the uh, Blender cycle renderer. Uh, so we know that we are in progress. Uh, and the progress is shown here, and then as soon as we have tiles available, they will uh, be um, shown here also. Uh, so I think in, oh, I have internet problem. No, it's okay. Uh, so that's the magic, it's here. It's, uh, the tiles are, are start to, co to, to, to come out. Um, uh, the first nodes uh, that are that have finished their tiles are sending their tiles back to our server, uh, and we gather them on the on the server to show them. I can click on one if I can here. So here you have a preview. This is HD here. Uh, we can also output uh, open e e EXR and do the preview also, so it's quite uh, comfortable for, for, for the user. So here you can see that in uh, two minutes we have performed more than two hours, nearly three hours of uh, computation. Um, so during the rendering, I will explain you a little bit about, uh, about the, the, the framework. Uh, Everything you do here uh, through the interface, you can also do that with the command line uh, through a, a shell. We have a, um, we have a shell we developed uh, at Carno that is very easy to use. Uh, so if you want to experiment uh, other things. Uh, what can be also very interesting in our framework uh, using Docker is that if you have a really a bleedy version of, uh, of Blender, you can push them on uh, our Docker repository. For the moment, it's not possible but we can uh, uh, collaborate uh, really easily uh, you do, uh, uh, you just have to call us and it can it can be uh, interesting to to see together uh, the new version you need to to push um, and to be with always with a uh, bleeding versions um, today we we have a model that is a uh, quite simple because we offer free credits uh, when you register. You can have 25 hours of free computing. Uh, but we are really looking for a, a, a good model uh, with a Blender. And uh, we are really thinking about uh, a way to do that is to, to say if the movies are open, um, uh, we can do the renderings for free. The problem with that is that many people will render cubes with completely hairy things and takes us a thousand hours of computing and they say, yeah, but it's open. And so we don't want to do that. So we want to ch maybe choose uh, uh, movies that can be uh, good, good projects uh, to improve the platform, to improve the, also the pipeline. Uh, in Docker, we can put Blender, but we can also put uh, 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 common lines special, uh, special for uh, baking or things like that. So uh, uh, we want to improve the platform and uh, make it more and more easy to use. Uh, our motto is to say that with Blender, we can do things we can absolutely not do with other payloads. We tried that with a C4D. It was a big pain to create the payload. And the command line from C4D is just telling you uh, I crashed because something is missing. 
so for our clients uh, it's not very good but with blender we can really do uh, uh, nice things and imagine uh, a great service better than uh, with any other um, closed source uh, software um, we are really uh, really proud to be here uh, one of the movie uh, that won the, the prize yesterday was uh, performed on the, our platform uh, it is Jonas from uh, uh, from France also uh, and they win the design uh, award and another candidate also um, did that um, so um, we are we we are really open if uh, if you have new ideas and we see many things very interesting here it was our first time here at the blender conference uh, and uh, we we really enjoy uh, talking to everybody if you have an idea or movie projects uh, if we can help uh, we are we will be very happy thank you very much i, I can answer the question when while it is uh, finishing Very quick question. Yeah, what is the, the business behind it? I mean, people get a free heating, or do they have to pay for it? Or no, uh, it? yeah, I forget that. People uh, who have these uh, heaters at their home, they are heated for free because inside the heater we have an electrical counter and we pay, we re refund them for all the electricity that is consumed by the heater, so they are heated for free. Uh, so, but what, what if it is too warm already? Hmm? What if their house is already too warm? Yeah, in fact, they we can't turn it off. Yeah, in fact, there is a. In fact, they have a thermostat on the heater, and uh, so we have a, a more or less computing power. But but uh, we regulate the um, processor frequency. So even in summer, we can keep them in low power mode, and we keep between 30 and 50 percent of our, com of our uh, computation power. And on the other side, during the winter, winter is, is coming, uh, and, uh, we have uh, much more power, so we have extra power to give, and it's the good time to give uh, computation to, uh, we do that for research, we work with a university in biotech in, uh, in France, but uh, it's also great to do that uh, with uh, open movies. But you predict that in the next few years, if this model will work, we will have tens of thousands, so maybe even hundreds of thousands of those things, so uh, you can, it's unlimited in fact, right? Yeah, in fact, it's, uh, uh, the, the um, high performance computing universe is uh, quite large and it's growing, growing uh, since 40 years, uh, so uh, it's an alternate, uh, alternative way to deploy uh, computing power and what is specific uh, at Carnot is the bare metal approach. We don't do only computation for 3D, we do also for uh, biotech or also for uh, insurance that do uh, risk analysis. So when it, the, the processor fi uh, finish to work, they can start on something completely new. It's not a problem. And one last thing, uh, how do you work without having a hard drive or a storage? Yeah. Is there uh, any hard, a little... Uh... In fact, we have a, a small hard drive in each apartment and uh, when uh, I, I start the job here, so here it is finished, when you, you start a job, the data are sent uh, to the different apartments that are ready to compute. Uh, and when the data are available, we boot uh, the we reboot or boot the the, the different nodes, and they boot in a, a PXE, it's a network booting, uh, and everything is performed then in RAM. But we still have uh, a cache, uh, an encrypted cache in each house. Uh, so, for example, if you relaunch a job most of your data will be already available on site so you won't have to push repush everything so uh, that's a way to to go quite fast so this is uh, why it is interesting to interact with asset managers so that you can pre pre push your data so that it is all, uh, ready to run uh, when you oh, click on the button but one render shop for like on renders it needs many files and textures and everything so you do need some kind of storage oh yeah uh, on the on the the website is uh, is um, hosted in a data center where we have storage so uh, uh, all the data here are stored for example here on Caminandes. Uh, so you uh, so after oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, all these data are uh, um, replicated here on the uh, on this website here you can see all the libs and the shots here okay so every node will use the web server as their data source so that's why you don't need local storage so the nodes the render the, the heaters 
they will load all the data always. Yeah, they, they will uh, they will pull the data and say I want to compute. I'm ready to compute and uh, and pull the data. So, uh, but okay. once they did that, once the data are close to them in cache. Okay. Mm. So uh, here I will just show when it is finished. Uh, so you have a quick facts about uh, how many up uh, up up here, uh, how many uh, um, computation you perform and uh, wattage also that was used. And you can also download all the results uh, here. The, the, you can choose the frame you want to, to, to get, or you can download everything. You will receive a zip file. Uh, I don't know about the, I will try, but I don't know about the, the bandwidth here. Here, it is coming here. It's quite fast. Okay. Uh, here. Mm -hmm. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Don't hesitate to, to come. It's, uh, as we say, data center is a little bit like uh, intensive farming, and we do uh, organic farming. <laughs> Thank you very much. We've got one very quick question before the next talk. It could be a good question, right? Really good question. What is the price of such a unit? Oh, sorry. Uh, the price, uh, we, um, today it's about 25 cents per hour of computation. We've, uh, we invoice by the minute. Um, so uh, this is our base model because we know it is uh, cheaper than what you can find on Amazon or things like this. Um, we have an advantage also on the carbon footprint that is interesting large companies. Uh, but today our model is, is uh, like this. You, uh, on this site, it is a PayPal. You can you have different package. Uh, you can try it for free first, and uh, but we really want to to do nice things because we have some people paying and they are doing really shit and <laughs> and sometimes just but uh, and we have people uh, who do great things and uh, we like Jonas uh, that one uh, yesterday and uh, if you have a nice project, we'll, we are really happy to discuss uh, with you. Thank you. Thank you.